Hi there everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is Harmon and in today's video we're checking out the pretty sad murder of an 18 year old named Terry Lynn Gardner. Um, this happened in a town called Everett, Washington. I'm gonna check out the location, the apartment, uh, where this murder took place. I've learned that Terry Lynn Gardner was actually cremated, I believe, and so there's no grave that I can show you, but I can at least show you the apartment complex where she was murdered at. Today is actually pretty special because I'm here joined with my cousin Gus uh, from Fish and Fly with Gus. Hey, it's been a minute. Good to see you, Harmon, and yes. all of your awesome friends and subscribers. It's such an honor to be back on the channel. Absolutely. Uh, many of you guys commented uh, recently and said, hey, when is Gus going to join the, the videos again? So he traveled all the way over here and we're doing some videos today. So make sure you say hi to him in the comments and uh, I'll leave a pin and you can check out his channel. On November 3rd, 2006, 18 year old Terry Lynn Gardner was taken by several individuals. Um, she was essentially kidnapped and held hostage inside an apartment. Uh, again, we're gonna go to that apartment in a little bit and I'll show you guys where that happened. She was tied up to a chair and tortured. They did terrible things to her, um, but after several days, they killed her. They ended up clubbing her over the head and slashing her throat. Now, her body was found several days later on November 6th, 2006. Um, the Everett Police Department actually found her body inside a stolen car uh, which had been taken to an impound lot nearby. She was wrapped in like a shower curtain and comforter. The perpetrators had put plastic bags over her head and arms and again she had just been tortured and and killed. Now when the police department of course found her body, they immediately found the apartment where she had been held hostage and tied up at. And inside the apartment, they found of course the chair that she had been tied to, the rope and duct tape that of course were around her limbs. And they also found some blood that had been, you know, splattered on the wall from Terry Lynn. With all the evidence found, they were able to actually arrest Susie Lay, Aaron Bander, and another individual. So the main question I think we all have is why? Why was Terry Lynn murdered? But of course, why was she murdered to, to that degree? Again, she was tortured, severely tortured for several days. Thanks to, again, one of my friends and subscribers, Christina. Again, this was her friend that was murdered. She told me some more background info and from what she was telling me, Terry Lynn had overheard Susie Lay and Aaron Bander talking about wanting to go break into someone's house and rob them. And so they essentially caught Terry Lynn overhearing their plan and their crime that they were gonna go commit. And so they decided that they didn't want to get in trouble with the police uh, for you know essentially coming up with a plan to rob a house. And so they thought their best choice was to just kill Terry Lynn, the witness. So again, the murder took place here at the Copperstone Apartments. Um, again, this is off of Casino Road. And again, Casino Road is heavily known in Everett, Washington as probably one of the top uh, drug zones, one of the top robbery zones, and potentially even one of the top murder zones. Of course, there's not that many murders that take place here in Everett, but um, considering its size, this is not a giant city by any means. So that is why this area is pretty sketchy. Both Susie Lay and Aaron Bander were arrested, of course, and convicted of Terry Lynn's kidnapping and murder, and they both received 
Different sentences, Aaron Bander received 27 years, Susie Lay uh, received 25 years in prison. Anyway guys, uh, an incredibly tragic story, of course, all the way around. Um, again, this is one that I, again, I was really wanting to do since one of my subscribers told me about it and because it was, a, of course, a personal friend of hers, so I really wanted to make sure I did this video for her and, of course, tell her story. Again, guys, if you're new around here, my name is Harmon. Uh, I go around the country filming different infamous cases, infamous murders, and so if you like that kind of content, make sure you subscribe and make sure you click the bell icon next to it. And again, until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.